Hey everybody, Brickliver18 here today with a four-part video of how I sort and store my Lego. This four-part video series is going to be broken down into different areas of my Lego room where I store my Lego pieces. In video one, we're going to take a look at how I store my most uncommonly used Lego pieces as well as my slopes. In video two, we're going to take a look at this colorful storage container where I store most of my mainly used Lego pieces as well as how I store my circle pieces and my tiles. In video three, we're going to take a look how I store things like plates, my vehicle parts, as well as my minifigure parts. And finally, in video four, we're going to take a look how I store my Lego bricks, just the regular bricks, as well as my instruction manuals. Gluing your LEGO sets and mocks protects them from breaking, but it stops you from ever using those parts again. LEGO allows you to glue and unglue your LEGO sets so you can keep them safe, but use the parts again in the future. Visit the link in the description to learn more and check out LEGO in all its glory in my LEGO video. Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily LEGO videos. Welcome to part number two. Here in this video, we're going to pretty much look at all of these different storage containers except the bottom one. Starting at the top drawer here is my plates modified drawer. In this drawer I just put anything that's a plate but it's been modified so it's a bit different than just a regular plate. This advent calendar separator piece because it works perfectly for these drawers. Next up is the bricks modified drawer. The title does say all, this is where I store all the modified bricks and again I use one of these advent calendar trays. The next up is the flower and tree drawer. So here I put all my foliage, you know, leaves and bushes and things like that. Over on this side I keep all the actual like flowers. These are the larger flowers, and then these are like the flower stems and the things that the actual flowers sit on. Over here is the windows drawer. In this drawer I keep all windows, window frames, window pieces, as well as doors and things like that. Here next is the wall panel pieces. I keep all like my wall panels, my wall, like these 1x5 bricks, as well as like wall supports, and just anything that is used to basically make a wall. Over here I keep fences, ladders, and rock pieces. This drawer is quite full and I have a lot of rock pieces and a lot of fence pieces. A lot of my stair pieces are in use and as you can see so are a lot of my fence pieces. Up next in this drawer is pretty much everything Technic. I don't really do a lot of Technic building so that's why all my Technic pieces are just thrown into one big bin. Over here is Technic bricks. I actually sorted each of these bricks so you know 1x bricks, 2x bricks, 4x bricks, 6x bricks, 8x bricks square and rectangle bricks, and then anything over 8 by it's just in the far back corner there. Over here in this bin is just things like antennas and strings and more antennas, as well as like storage containers and things minifigures use. Finally in the last drawer here, I store all my animal pieces. I used to sort these by, you know, water animals, land animals, but it just got too confusing, so I've just thrown them all in one big bin. In this bin here, I store all my circle pieces so they're all together. Open up the top drawer here, as you can see it's all one by one circle studs in many different colors. Open up the middle drawer here and it's all circle bricks. In this section I have a bunch of one by one bricks high, you know, cones and things like that. And in the far back I have anything else that's a brick, it's kind of just all thrown in there. Finally in the last drawer I have all the circle plates that aren't one by one, as well as all the circle tiles. Finally in this container here I store all my tiles. In this container I have black tiles, white tiles, green tiles, lime tiles, pink tiles, brown tiles, grilled tiles, orange tiles, transparent tiles, tan tiles, purple tiles, red tiles, blue tiles, gray tiles, and finally yellow tiles. Thanks everybody for watching part number two of how I sort and store my Lego pieces. I really hope you enjoyed and as I mentioned here on this rainbow container, they're mainly the parts that I use most often and then the tiles as well as the circle bricks, I use those quite often as well. Thanks everybody so much for watching and stay tuned for next Saturday for part number three.